Uh, we're gonna play a little uh, game to familiarize ourselves more with Excel. Uh, one of the classic games I always enjoyed was Battleship. Uh, oh. Always like playing my brother and sister in Battleship and beating them. So let me, let's play Battleship with our uh, Microsoft Excel. Now this is called a spreadsheet, okay? This whole sheet. Notice at the bottom it's called Sheets. Now all these sheets are in one workbook. Okay, so that's important to know. These are worksheets, and all the sheets combined into one file is one workbook. Now, what I want you to do is, um, in A1, highlight over to A, A to F. Notice there's six, and then highlight it down. So highlight from A1 to F6. That's how you, um, if you ever see something like this, A1 colon F6. That's what that means, okay? That means A1 starting and it goes down to F6 ending. So that's what that means. I want you to go and uh, put a, go to format, cells, and then go to border, and you're gonna choose outline. And choose a kind of thick outline for that, okay? And then go ahead and um, go to patterns then and select like the little pokey dots and hit OK. Alright, so now you sh it should look like this. So this is going to be our board. Now let's format it so it's a little bit uh, better, like equally uh, formatted. Um, now go ahead and highlight a1, or sorry, row 1, and highlight all of the rows 1 to 6. Okay, notice they're all highlighted. Now, adjust any one of those rows to about, let's say, 30. About 30. Doesn't have to be exact, just about 30. Okay? And actually, we're going to go a little bit more. So hold down 30 and go to 50. Oh! Too far, let's go back to 40. Yeah, just right. Now, going across, highlight A to F, and let's go to 11. Okay, now, you see this dashed line? What is that? That's to show you where the end of the page is, okay? Now, if you want to extend that page, if you don't want it to cut off right there, um, what you can do is go to File, Page Setup, and then Margins. And in your margins, see how it's right? I can actually go down to like zero margins. Okay, and I hit OK. And now notice it extends out, and so you can it reaches. Okay, now um, zoom in somewhere in the 200s. It's up to you, um, whatever is the most comfortable for you so you can see your board okay and so now we're ready to play our battleship now what you're gonna do is you're gonna place uh, your ships on this board okay um, now to place your ship on the board uh, you're gonna be placing uh, use the capital O sign so if I went in B2 I can put it here and hit enter. So notice it's there. And let's say I want it here in E4. So shift zero and do one more. Do three battleships. Okay. Now notice on my cell, it's automatically on the bottom left corner of my cell. I don't want that. I want it centered horizontally and vertically for all the cells. So go ahead and highlight all of the cells that are on our board. And let's go to Format, Cells. And let's go to Alignment. And in our alignment, we're going to do Horizontal, Center. And also Vertically, Center. Okay. And let's do one more thing. Uh, let's go to Patterns. See how it says No Color? Um, Let's go ahead and add a light color to it. So add a light color to your board to customize it. 
And notice now it's centered on that cell. Okay. Now, to better be able to see what cell is what, we're going to uh, make lines for them. Okay. So, um, go to Format Cells and go to Border. Remember before we did Outline? Now we're going to choose Outline and Inside. And this is our example of what it should look like. Okay, now for our um, color, uh, choose a color that you want that kind of coordinates with your board. And then hit OK. So now I have a better board here. All right, so now you should have three uh, battleships. Now I'm going to say a cell reference. So if I say like C2, okay? You're going to highlight C2 and you're going to uh, insert like a color, okay? So what you can do is go to Format, Cells, and then go to Pattern, okay? And then you can choose a different color. Let's say I want this color and then don't choose a pattern then. And then I hit OK. So notice now it's blank. So that means I just called that, okay? Now, in, if I call C3, now instead of clicking on C3 and going and doing the same thing, format cells and all that, what I can do is I can highlight C1 or C2, see up here the format painter, I can click that, and then I can highlight B3 and it automatically changes it to the same exact thing, okay? Another way I can do that, let's say I say B2. Sorry, A2. We'll, say, we'll go A2. You can also click on B3, Command C to copy, and then you can go to A2 and paste, and you can paste that onto it as well. Now, when I say B2, okay, that means a hit. So you're all going to yell, hit! And then you're going to go, what happens when you get hit? You go, ugh. So you're going to make some desperate moan that you got hit. And then choose some uh, red color, even though it's my least favorite color. Take off the pattern, hit OK. So that means you got hit. OK? And then we'll continue the game, and then we'll have a winner. So that's Excel Battleship, and let's begin playing now.